Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 9 MR. Now it has 962 horsepower, 806 pounds-feet of torque from a 7-litre twin-turbocharged V8 engine and the car itself weighs 2,763 pounds. Had all-wheel drive standard but it also now has off-road tyres and off-road suspension and it can do not 16 2.364 seconds to 100 in 4.494 seconds and going to a top speed of 180 miles an hour. So yeah, this is the uh, first time Mitsubishi has made an appearance on this game and on this series as well, uh, as there were seven of them we introduced in a recent update. None of which we haven't seen on previous Forza games, but it is nice to see that Mitsubishi are finally back. It does kind of give me some hope that maybe Toyota and Lexus would come back to the Forza series because obviously they're not either on uh, on this game either. But yeah, even though we haven't had any new species added, it is again still nice to have them on the game. So uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what this car can do, especially in comparison to the uh, Subaru uh, fully fledged rally car that we've had on the series already. Whether or not this road going vehicle can match a uh, rally car we'll have to see but it's got plenty of power a hell of a lot of, uh, of uh, good handling on the go really rather good acceleration and uh, yeah obviously it had all wheel drive standard so it's not got that to deal with in any extra form and it's a lot lighter than it was as well thanks to other upgrades outside of the engine so yeah that's a really good amount of speed down that straight a little of control going into that corner. Yeah, this is seriously quick on these uh on this off-road course. It's just plowing for everything. No troubles whatsoever. Sure, there's a hint of understeer here and there. That's easily cured with a bit of throttle and a bit of oversteer. I'm sure, there are some people out there that don't like the idea of a Mitsubishi with a V8, but nonetheless, it has produced a really rather good result, to be honest. Not quite as quick as the uh, Subaru Rally car, but at 2 minutes 5 seconds, 0.619 it is less than a second behind that Subaru Rally car. It's also beaten the likes of the uh, Renault Alpine A110, uh, the Ram 2500 Power Wagon, the uh, Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio, Vauxhall Insignia VXR, Exomotive Exocet, Ram Rebel TRX and the Volkswagen Bar Hardbug. Like I said, it's less than a second behind the Subaru Rally car. Not all that far behind the uh, Land Rover Range Rover or the Opel Manta 400 but way off the lights of the Lamborghini Urus and Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 but nonetheless for a first time appearance from Mitsubishi on this series that is mightily impressive really looking forward to seeing what other Mitsubishis can do on this uh, series granted not all of them are this kind of vehicle obviously got the likes of the GTO and the uh, Galant that we could try out but yeah really impressed by this and uh, yeah it gives me hope that Mitsubishi could do even better quite frankly because obviously there is a newer Mitsubishi Evo that we can try out in the uh, form of the uh, 10 which again would be interesting to see uh, what it can do so uh, yeah I might well give a uh, Subaru from the same kind of year as this uh, a go in the next episode just to have a comparison between actual road cars because obviously the only other Subaru that we've had that is like this is obviously a fully fledged rally car so that's why it was probably slightly ahead but yeah it will be interesting to see what a Subaru road car can do in comparison to this so uh, yeah I'll definitely give that a go in the next episode but nonetheless thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye